profounding follies and vision with elected officials coming back and this hearing from their constituents. Let's get warmed up a little bit by going over that questionnaire that I'm handing out. Just about some of the, uh, the fiscal things, just sort of rallies what's going on. This, the questionnaire says, by the end of 2012, the total federal debt is projected to be how much of our total GDP? Who put number five? One hundred percent. Yes. Is that, is that assuming that the, uh, the current uh, uh, Bush tax cuts will, will uh, expire? I'm not going to answer one question, but I want to get through this, sir. We'll take time for questions. But no question. It's not going to be a question. It's not going to be a The question. We're moving on, sir. I'm not going to let one person take over this event. Again, be respectful. Will you vote for revenues being cut? Uh, I'm not, I'm, you got to vote against the debt ceiling? Washington D.C. doesn't have a revenue problem. Washington D.C. has to spend number five. According to OMB in the White House, how much is waste, fraud, abuse account to approximately the, how, what percentage of our federal budget would be impacted if we eliminated waste, fraud, abuse? Number one, one hundred million dollars. Not a solution, a part of the solution, but not. Why are you raising over pay, our payroll taxes while protecting trillions of taxpayer handouts to billionaires, big oil? Yeah. Interesting question. I disagree with you. Just the, the premise Why? there is that Washington doesn't have enough money. Washington has enough money. Washington doesn't have a revenue problem. Washington has a spending. Question problem. number seven, sir. Please, please, sir. There are many and many Texans here, sir, who want to be heard like you. Please, please, sir. Respect the other members here. I've got a 14-year-old daughter and an 11-year-old son. I deal with this back at home. Please, please, please. Please. We're losing money, many good middle-class jobs like NASA, airport, road construction work, which goes unfunded. Many of Texas' jobs growth in the last decade has been because of you government, you government, oh, yeah, not, not in spite of it. We gotta be honest with what's really going on in Texas. Um, you know, Texas, we have a great record. And the job growth here, we've led the nation. I mean, you know, you look at the numbers, we've created half, almost half the private sector jobs since recession started. I know the facts bother you. 